All right, guys, this is Fringe, and I have got another tutorial for you. This one is about um, disappearing objects from an image or removing objects from an image seamlessly. And I will be teaching several ways based on different um, scenarios that you may run into. The first one, which is quite common and a lot. You might have you will have to deal with it on a very regular basis is um, watermarks. Now there are two ways to get rid of these generally. One is to grab your rectangular marquee tool or whatever marquee tool you wish to use. Any of these will really work, except maybe magnetic or except maybe the wand, magic wand tool. Whoops and just press M to go back to the rectangular marquee tool and then just select whatever you want to disappear in this case this black text and since it's a nice even texture in the background you just have to right click select well you don't have fill on because it's a smart object whoops just hit control J to jump it to a new layer and hit control shift R to rasterize or just go to here and rasterize the layer and just alt drag it to jump to a new layer but whatever hopefully you know that by now <laughs> and now that we can actually edit on it because it, a smart object protects it from any destructive editing you can just hit right click and hit fill or you can hit control alt d whoops not control alt d i mean shift backspace whoops yeah there we go shift backspace and set it to content to where which will look at the look around the image for a texture or area of an image that looks like it will match and it will match the um, the area behind the text and then fill it with that and adjust for luminosity and color and it should do pretty well with an easy watermark like this just hit okay and bam you will get some repetition of detail which you have to look out for but basically gone. Now just hit control Z and I'll show you a different way. Or control Alt Z twice. And come over here and choose the right over the brush tool, choose the spot healing brush tool, which is basically just an auto correct tool that you just paint over it and it'll look for areas, other areas in an image that have a similar texture. Basically just do the same thing as content aware fill. Because the content aware checkbox is checked up there. Whoops. <laughs> Let's not have it do that. Whoops, whoops. There we go. Okay. Yep, because the content aware, you, you can also use proximity match in easy textures like this, but content aware looks better because content aware actually takes from multiple sources to get a perfect seamless seamless finish. Just brush right over it as long as you have a raster based image and just with a nice soft brush bam it's gone works just as well as content to wear fill another decent way now we'll jump over to another image hit control shift tab to jump back one and this one is going to be a little bit more complicated because if i get my if i get my spot healing brush tool by pressing j and of course i jump it to a new layer control j control shift r to rasterize and I just brush over it with a nice little bit harder of a brush. I got 25% this time. Just brush over it. It'll take a little while because it's calculating for luminosity and stuff. And horrible result. It makes it all blurry. And you can often get that when it's when it gets a little bit complicated for the thing to acquire a uh, nice texture. So it controls either undo that and we want to jump over here to healing brush which allows you to sample yourself by hitting alt holding alt and just click to sample an area and now don't have a line turned on and have all layers sample all layers and source the sample not pattern pattern doesn't really work too well and you see this pattern right here now you just brush in the pattern have the pattern brushed in and you'll probably have to do it one more time 
and maybe once more. Bam! Perfect, seamless. A lot better than the healing brush because it allows you to sample your own source while the healing brush it samples multiple sources and doesn't do a good job too. Now, Control Z to go back. Now the healing brush on proximity match could work. Let me try that. It might work. It might not. Let's see. Nope. Doesn't work either. So yeah, use it for when it's a little more complicated, use healing brush. Now when it's really complicated, hit control tab to jump one. Whoops. Control shift tab to go back. 